Original sin, the forbidden fruit, forbidden knowledge. That's really what so much of this is about, isn't it? It was the taking in of that wrong idea, the wrong construct, the wrong vision, obviously, as has been noted many times already. And it has brought about the current situation. It's a disease. The whole vision, that's the point, that's the problem. So that gets taken in, and it's to know good and evil, it's to know life and death. That was the promise by the snake oil salesman, and that promise was delivered. Everyone is experiencing that over and over again inside of this disease cycle that everyone is imprisoned by currently. So when we know death, we know it because we experience it. It is the actuality, the legitimacy of our experience that can't be denied. And these things are inevitable. Inside of this death corpse meat suit, one is going to face the second death. That's when the debt or death collector comes to collect his due. And this place, this carnival, it's not a free ride. There's nothing free about it. There's the adage, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Well, this whole place, there's nothing free about it whatsoever. The entire thing is a prison system. The entire thing is about endless payments, endless pain. And it's mixed with its disease pleasures, or just pleasure in general. That which is on the side of good, comfort, all the things that people generally enjoy. It's not a negation of any of that stuff, obviously. If it was totally evil, like 100% pure evil and pure pain, then no one would believe in this system. No one. It would be over just for that reason alone. If it was just pure, pure evil and pure pain. So that's why it works in a dualistic sense. It has to. That's the only way it can prop a belief in this shit show up. That's it. So there's enough mix of the two. The two sides of the duality, good and evil. So the knowledge, the forbidden knowledge that was taken in, led to one knowing about death, which is to know about this physical incarnation with all of its wrong ideas, the whole construct of it is incorrect. It's built incorrectly. It's a disaster. It's quite actually a Frankenstein abomination just hacked together. Quite actually. So because this is the land of the blind. No one sees that. They really believe in the corpse that they're wearing. This graveyard suit. They believe in it. Everyone does. Really. It might as well be said. Everyone believes that they are this corpse. This costume. And because of that, one is attached to it indefinitely getting to know death over and over and over again because of the attachment and the belief in this construct looking in the mirror and saying that's me that i see that's literally and exactly who i am right there that face that's me that's not a costume that's who i am that's the totality and i'm so pretty so people tell themselves this story and think there's no consequence to it. Obviously, there's a very severe consequence to that form of attachment. 
And so that's another statement that's being made all the time. Whether one realizes it or not. Pretty much the whole world is making that statement many times every single day. Again, go, yeah, into the paradigm of selfies. One is taking a selfie, then posting that garbage online on their social media, and that's the statement that they're saying, that's me, that's who I am, right there, that picture. Don't I look so good? I tried to get the right angle because I wanted as many thumbs up, as many likes as possible. There it was, there's me. I didn't do a damn thing to create the genetic makeup of this hack job that one finds themselves in. That doesn't matter though. I just want to feel good about the compliments I'm getting on those pictures that I'm posting. That's what it's all about. And hopefully I don't age too fast. Oh, that decrepit aging. Oh man, maybe I can go get some plastic surgery or something, get some work done. Or just exercise a, a shitload more. Maybe that'll help. And yeah, j try to eat better. Yeah, I just got to prevent the aging as much as possible. Just keep the skin as tight as I can for as long as I can. But of course, that doesn't last very long. Everyone ages and then the debt collector comes quite soon. To eternity, a hundred years is the blink of an eye, not even. It's so fast. One wants to believe in this construct. It's such a huge part of the vision test too. If you see yourself in the mirror, that corpse that you call yourself, and believe that's you, legitimately, that's the totality. That's your eternal aspect right there. That Frankenstein stitch job that's staring at you in the mirror. You believe that's you? Well, that's not a pass on the vision test. One has to believe that they are far more than this. You are not a zombie. My goodness. So, unless one sees that, in the time to come, that's that's going to be a hard threshold uh, to cross, that's for sure. So, the forbidden knowledge was taken in. Death becomes the inevitable result. So the question being asked today is what occurs when the total revelation happens? And much of the revelation has already been given Unfortunately, no one has their 2020 glasses on yet. It hasn't truly sunk in. The alarm hasn't woken anyone up truly. Inevitably, though, it's going to occur. So the total revelation is given. What does one do then? Does one take in the truth, the total truth? Wear that perfect vision, those 2020 glasses, and then make the choice that matters, the ultimate choice, which will set one free, which is the ending of death, the ending of being imprisoned. It's to completely take in the opposite vision. This is a system of lies. That was the fruit that was taken in originally taking in the knowledge of lies and to live in a system of lies. So when one takes in the totality of the revelation, then one has the choice to consume, if you will, the truth. Take it into their heart. Take it into your heart completely. Let that sink all the way down to your core, the core of your being. And then make a choice. That's what this is about. And so just as this system of lies has shown you death, well, the truth is going to show you the door to life. Life truly. Life everlasting, as it could be said. 
forever. No prisons anymore. To be completely and truly free. It's the ending of the rotten fruit. So would one hear that total revelation and know that the alarm clock is sounding and that is going to be that? It's wake-up time. Truly, the inevitable is occurring. So you hear all of this. You have your 2020 glasses put on, and then what? Do you make the correct choice, or do you sink back into the wrong ideas? The prison system, the slave system, this cancer filled with its indoctrination of dichotomies and contradictions just ready to take every last thing from you over and over again. Constantly building your small little pathetic empire just to have it taken away in very short order. Nothing is ever promised. Nothing guaranteed. There's no such thing as a guarantee in this place. Not whatsoever. And would one make that incorrect choice When the total revelation is given, the alarm is sounded. It is so obvious, no one can deny it. And would one make that incorrect choice, then what? What does that mean? Well, that means spiritual death to make that incorrect choice. So one knows about physical death because the wrong fruit was taken in, going back to the idea of original sin and is caught currently in the cycle of doing that over and over again obviously but in the time to come in the near future it is the correct vision that's going to be presenting everything it will be the court of the heart and would one hear all that take all of that in Be awake, see where they truly are, and still choose incorrectly. That is tantamount to spiritual death. A far worse death than any physical death, than multitudes and multitudes of physical deaths. Because now, now you have been presented with the complete and total truth, and you still chose to deny it you still chose to say yes to hell's master and hell system instead well that's that's no light statement not whatsoever this is especially for those who have been seeking the truth for so long you've been seeking and putting forth your entire effort And of course, there is a summation. There is a point where one's efforts reach that pinnacle, reach that peak where all answers are going to be given. They are going to be provided. And look at the number of people who have been on that search for quite some years now. Some more recently, obviously, but that's not the point. So there are many that truly want answers, and they're going to be given, all of them. All of the questions, truly, the actual legitimate questions that matter, from the heart, not these mental, flip-flop, gymnastic questions that just don't make any sense and again just lead to dark paths. Just occult nonsense. So no, that's not what's being stated here whatsoever. But the real questions that matter, that have to do with one's freedom to be free truly and what this is all about, why this has all happened, 
why everyone finds themselves here, which so much of that has already been stated. But again, it hasn't hit home. It hasn't hit home truly. And the rest in the short time to come absolutely is going to be delivered to everyone, as has already been said. Without exception, the entire world is going to hear the revelation. Everyone is going to get the same opportunity. But of course, those who haven't been taking anything seriously, haven't been searching for any kind of truth within themselves whatsoever, just thinking that they're here randomly and it's just some tiny little experience just serving them the whole thing and they're just enjoying the ride if you will of this carnival well yeah they're going to be gobsmacked they're not going to have a clue about what's happening not a damn clue that's why I've talked about sight lines and of course this is a sight line it's a tremendous one tremendous the implications of it it is hoped are being appreciated it is hoped so in the time to come as it's been said when it all is revealed is one going to make the correct choice or is one going to choose a spiritual death which is about as horrendous as it gets especially for those who have been seeking for so long. And perhaps you're not going to like the answers because deep down one actually believes that they are this corpse. They believe in so much of hell system. And even the real, many of the real, you're going to find out. You're going to find out whether you believe in true true freedom or you still believe in so much disease pleasure so much that health system has to offer it really is going to be a separation between the truth and the lie and many want to conceptualize that they're all in for the heart for sure well maybe that might be the case and i hope it is i really do but for some, those seeking the truth, you're probably not going to like all the answers because of the attachments that one still has to this system, to the things of it, and what it all means. So I'm giving a sight line for that and what that incorrect choice also means. Because no one really is talking about spiritual death the physical death is just obvious everyone knows about that and that's going to have to be faced one way or the other inevitably by everyone no matter what that's just obvious this is the complete false vision it's a fiction so if one wants the truth you can't believe in fictions it's another obvious thing but if one wants to continue the charade, continue believing in lies, in fictions, well, you will have that opportunity as well. Take on the crown of the mind once again and be tossed back into hell's system with all of those implications. The choice is heavy, heavy indeed. This is why one must take it serious, which is the ultimate meaning of neutrality. Being serious. When the house is on fire, you're not thinking about being positive or negative. You just do what is necessary. Absolutely, you just do what you need to. Get out of that burning house. Get out of hell. Here's the opportunity do what you must to get out. You take it serious. Total neutrality. That's what that means. A warrior. It's no 
positivity or negativity to it. It's just action. The action that needs to be done. Choiceless action. Either that or spiritual death stacked upon the physical death. Which is the worst death of all. That's because one can't take it back. You can't uncross a threshold that you've crossed. You can't unsee what you have seen. How many have been asking, begging for the totality of truth? Legitimately, the, the total truth. No fictions, none at all. Ask and ye shall receive, well many have asked. And they will receive, you will receive, everyone is going to. But just like the original quote-unquote gift of forbidden knowledge that one received, you can't unreceive it. You've taken it in. So this is no different. The total truth, you take it in, you can't negate it after that. You can't go into denial. There's no room for denial. You cross that threshold. Everyone's been asking for the answers. The answers are coming. All of them. The true answers that matter. So there is no negation at that point. It becomes choiceless in that way as well. So that's also what makes it about inevitabilities. And this is inevitable. That time is coming. And it's time to take it serious. It's past time to take it serious.